Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo and today we're going to talk about Office 365 and how sometimes you're not able to put in your email signature into your Outlook Web Access. Now, when you're trying to add your email signature into Outlook Web Access in Office 365, sometimes you might get a message that says something like the option you chose isn't available or the option might completely just be missing or grayed out. This is an issue because if you try to obviously add your email signature, you can't do so and it creates a problem. Now, it's quite an easy fix. If, you, if you're the admin for your organization, so for your Office 365, you're actually able to fix this quite easily and I'll show you how to do that right now. All you need to do is open up your browser and go to this uh, link right here. Now, uh, if you, this is the first time you're going through this link, you'll need to put in your admin username and password, which I've already done because you can see here that it's opened up my control panel. Uh, you'll need to put in your admin username and password and then you'll come to this screen here. Now, when you get to this screen, I'll get you to click on permissions on the top here and then just go to Outlook Web App Policies. Now, if you haven't defined any policies, this is the default one. So this is most likely uh, you'll have just the default one and no other one. So just make sure that's selected and then click this pencil icon up the top. Next, you'll see this pop up come up and then from the left hand side, just go to the features. And then if you scroll down, you'll see more options there. Now, by default, this email signature section is actually turned off. So what that does, uh, like I mentioned earlier, is that it doesn't allow you to add an email signature to your Outlook web access when you're accessing it from the web. Basically, so if you're traveling abroad and you need to use your Outlook, but you don't have your laptop and you just have a public computer, you can use your Outlook web access to check your emails and uh, this disables the email signature feature for that service. So it's basically as simple as just ticking that email signature box, clicking save, and then it might take about 20 minutes to half an hour to actually adjust those changes in your um, Outlook web access policy. So just give it about half an hour and then log back into your Outlook Web Access and you should be able to add your own email signature in there. If you haven't already, give our email signature generator a try. It's quite easy to use and you can make some really professional email signatures quite, quite easily. So if you just go to this link up the top here, we've got a bunch of templates to choose from. You just click new signature, pick out your template. We've got three free ones and the rest of them are premium layouts, but you can pick a layout and then adjust any options you like in it. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.